All right, what's the discount got to be on that flat screen to make the tasing worth it? Hold on. All right. Some of y'all went out there on Black Friday. Just admit, some of y'all did. If you went out there on Black Friday, and I don't mean like all Friday, I mean that midnight. If you went out there midnight, Black Friday, just identify yourself. Because I need to know what savages are in this room that I can't really trust. Dude, you got to be a real life, actual savage to do that. Why? Because you know that it's going to be a bunch of savages in the store. Because the only people that can survive in that sort of environment is the savages. That's it. That's it. So you got to think about that. When there's a line and people are pushing through for the midnight Black Friday sale, it ain't nothing but savages. That's it. Because who else has seen the videos and watched the news and is like, yo, I really got to get there to get this 10% off this television. Savages. That's it. Savages, by the way, who have already stopped giving two shits about buying gifts for anybody else, right? Look at people ain't got no money saved. I mean, I've seen the numbers on this. Americans do not have money saved. And ain't nobody going to the store to buy a flat screen TV as a gift for somebody else. Who has ever received a television as a gift from someone other than your parents? Those TVs are not for sale for gifts. They are for sale for people to bring to their house, right? So yes, back in the day, we saw savage-like behavior in the name of stuff like Tickle Me Elmo and the Cabbage Patch Dolls, because those are things that people were going to get kids because kids would have been so heartbroken if they did not receive those things, right? Ain't nobody heartbroken about not getting no TV, right? So you have to understand, those aren't people who are like, hey, let me go to the store and see if I can pick up some things to give to other people. That's not what's going on. Those are people who left the house to go get on one of those flat screens. They didn't leave the house to try to get one of those flat screens. They left the house to get one of those flat screens. And they're not giving it away. They're keeping it. They're going for dolo. They're fighting for self. Which is to say, they are fighting. They are actually fighting. They are scrapping it out. That's what this is going to come to. So if you tell me that you participate in that madness, I can only assume that you are savage. It's like when the Jays come out and people wait in line. Ain't nobody, well, they stop doing that. But wasn't nobody going to wait in line to try to get some Jays. They was going to get some Jays. You understand what the difference is, right? If people leave their houses and line up, it ain't for a lottery ticket. They sitting there saying in line, look, I don't know about these fools, but I'm about to get this flat screen. And yo, flat screens are heavy. They're not really light to carry around, right? So these cats out here getting tased. These cats out here getting locked up. These cats out here scrapping it in the parking lot behind this stuff. And I'm just wondering, is the fighting like an additional benefit to these people? 
or have they just determined that the price markdown is just working? Because there's some people we have to appreciate who live, live, I tell you, live, live for days like that. They live for situations where they scrapping it out. You know those people who wake up every day, every day, hoping a fight starts. That's who's out there on Black Friday, buying that stuff. That's who's out there. So which one of y'all was out there, man? Y'all ain't got a lie? I know savages appreciate what I do. Which one of y'all savages was out there? You let me know. Hey, look, I got a little more money than I used to. I can't knock you if you needed the savings that bad. I'm just telling you right now. You were savage, and you know you were savage. You know that you were savage. Videos I saw, man, people weren't even looking at the stuff, man. They were just grab and go. Like, I can't imagine how freaked out I'd be in that situation with all those people in there. You know what I bet is happening a lot, too? People getting pickpocketed. You can do mean work as a pickpocket at Walmart. While all that stuff going on, people get to the register and be like, yeah, sure, here's my can't seem to I think I left my wallet in the car. Now, if you left your wallet in the car, how's that going to work? What you going to do, leave the bags at the register, think you about to go in and get right back out? Because I get the feeling them savages behind you are going to be like, hey, what do you got in this bag, dog? Yeah I, want, yeah, I need another one of those. Look, I got the money and I'm here right now, so I think you need to go ahead and let me get on that Xbox. Just saying. Just saying. 